This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. How are you doing? Gordo the Tech are here. Welcome to another exciting and thrilling episode of Yabachi Talk. Grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair, sit down, and we're going to talk about uh, Lava One 2018 with our guest, Chris Thellinger. Yes. My co-host for at least this week, <laughs> and then the wandering guy. Uh, I'm on a, I'm on a short again, leash over here. Andrew the security <laughs> Hello, guy. Hello, everybody. So uh, this is going to be interesting. So we're going to talk about a, a, a conference that you're putting on, yeah. that you're organizing, and you get to experience what it's like to put on one in Hawaii. Oh, yes. Which is a, a kind of a rude awakening in some ways. But um, yeah. but I think it's, I, I personally think it's a great idea. Um, and Java, it's not just a cup Java. of coffee. It's talking about this Java conference right, right. you're putting on next week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll get a little bit more into that. But right. what we like to do first is get a little bit of background on our guests, like where you're from, okay. where did you go to school. Social security number. Yeah. Yeah. How did you, <laughs> you get to Hawaii? <laughs> I got those guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was born in Austria. So I'm from Austria. I grew up in Austria. And Luckily, I went to college in Austria, which is free. Free, and yes, awesome. free ninety nine. That's, that's the best kind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, <coughs> I was studying in Vienna computer science. So, I have a master's degree in computer science. Okay. And at the university, I got into um, into compiler technology. So, I'm a compiler engineer. I write compilers. You know, oh, okay. Compiler translates right. source I've, code into yes. I used to write in assembler. Oh, there you way go. Way back in yeah. the day. I do. I do chit compilers. So basically, we take Java bytecode and translate it into native code immediately. Oh, wow. So that's what I did. So I got into this at, um, at the university, and, and I was working on a, on a research JVM, a Java virtual machine at that time. OK. And, and then I was going to this conference, which I'm actually going to in the beginning of February this year again. It's like this annual meeting of free software people in Belgium. It's called FOSTEM. And, and so I went to this. Uh, conference back in the day, presenting what we were doing at the university, and and at some point it was 2006 or seven, I think. Uh, Sun Microsystems open sourced Java. Right. Yeah. And so suddenly, Sun Microsystems people showed up at the conference because ah. suddenly they were part of the open source community. Right. Nice. Right. Okay. Before we hated each other, but then, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of conversations. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. C sharp and all kinds of things. Right. Stuff. Exactly. So. I was in the GNU glass path, you know, okay. group, and then there was, I don't know if you remember that, there was Apache Harmony. Oh, you bet. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was TPL versus Apache. Apache you know. Harmony, right. Um, and then uh, I met a few people, some Microsystems people, and then one, one day I was looking for a job, and I contacted this one guy, and they, they were just looking for a compiler engineer, and so that's how I ended up working for Sun Microsystems. Okay, but how'd you end up in Hawaii? Come in sun, sun, you know, right. So you, you know, got Austria to Hawaii. I know you came here for the skiing, it's obvious. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Have you seen the videos, people snowboarding on Mauna Kea? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I live an hour and 15 minutes from Mauna Kea. Oh, there you so go. So yeah. it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but there, and we got a ton of snow up there right now. We have a boatload of snow. Probably oh, yeah? more snow than... Austria. Uh, yeah, has probably. Right yeah, there was not a lot of snow last week when I was there. No. So, so again, what, so what gets you to Hawaii? Right. So I, I, I worked for some microsystems in Austria remotely, and at that time, um, we had a compiler team with like five or six people or something like this, and everyone else was on the west coast of the U.S. Oh wow! And only me in Europe, which is a nine-hour time difference. So, you know, you. You finish your work day at 5 or 6 p.m., and then suddenly people wake up on the West Coast and send you emails. They want to work. <laughs> so, so, okay, I, I did this for a few years, um, but then I said, okay, I can't do this anymore. So uh, I relocated to the Bay Area. Oh, okay. Um, and that, that was at the time when Oracle acquired Sun. Okay, and you were still with Sun at the same time? Yes. Okay. And then Oracle, they had, they had acquired BEA before, mm -hmm. and then suddenly... We had more people in Europe because they were all in Stockholm than on the West Coast. So it was, you know, but I was already on, in the Bay Area. And so you were writing um, Oracle-based apps at the time or Sun-based apps or machine code? Um, I was always on the compiler team. So, oh, so we, always on the compiler yeah, team. Yeah, I, I work on the Java virtual machine directly. Okay. I don't do application. No app, oh, no app dev. So yeah, yeah. I, I like pointing that out because people just think, oh, you when you're a coder, you just write apps. Right. No, 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 no. There's no. all somebody has to apps. make them work. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's a no. There, it's a uh, handful, and that's not true. But there's there's 
a decent amount of people, let's put it this way, not too many, that do Java the language. You know, mm -hmm. they, they write the Java virtual machine, you have the compiler team, you have the garbage collector team and the runtime team. So all the ones that, so all the stuff that you're doing is at like this the, layer, exactly. and then the, the application development right. layer, those yeah. those guys and girls are on this side. Yeah, so yeah, because I grew up in this piece, right. in your yeah, space. Yeah, me, me too, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. this is the space I came uh, up that's in. That's a cool space, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. that's where the cool people are. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's where the, that's right. where the really geeky yeah. people are. So it's, it's probably at Sun, Oracle, like, I, I don't know, between 100 and 200 people, I don't know, you know, people that write the virtual machine, and then people who, uh, write the, the core libraries, like the Java code of, of the API, and then you have millions of people that use Java, right? Sure. That's how it works. Sure. So we, we, we built the, the platform. I don't work, oh yeah, I don't work for Oracle anymore. So, so you're working on your own, or no. there's not like there's a lot of Java coding sweatshops here. In Honolulu. In Honolulu. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, I work for Twitter now. Oh, yes. okay. Say hi to Donald Trump for me. Oh, well. <laughs> I was told to, to not, not answer, answer questions. Question about Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I just said say hi. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can do that. You can do that too. Yeah. I um, so I work for Twitter now, and there are a few companies remotely, obviously. Right. 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 Um, I'm the only engineer, as far as I know, even maybe the only employee in Hawaii right now for Twitter. But they they wanted me. And so they said, oh, yeah, you, you can be in Hawaii. You can be in Hawaii. And, and their office is, what, downtown San Francisco, right? Um, yes, Mar Market Street. Market Street, yeah. Street, right near Hawala Creevy's office. Oh, yeah. So wow, we have right a on. friend that was also on the show. That oh, has a, okay. He's an app development company that right. are just around the corner from where you, from yeah, where you yeah. guys are located. Well, that's cool. You get to work remotely from yeah. Twitter. We, I, we have an interesting friend. Another guy i got to get you to meet. His name is Aaron Nakaoka. He was the first Twitter account in Hawaii. Oh. And what he did when Twitter first came out, he got all these domain names that yeah. he had to give back. Oh, he re registered wow. a boatload of them. Well, so, well, we still haven't figured out how he got here. I, wish, I, had, I see how you got to the Bay. Yes, I showed you. Yeah, true. Right, so I moved to the Bay Area and... <laughs> Keep us on track here. Right, Sorry, right. I know. So I moved to the Bay Area. Um, I lived one year in San Jose, okay. which is, you know, back in... At that time, all the Chava people were in Santa Clara at the, the old Sun Campus. Okay. It was now, now Oracle, but it was right. still like... Every, every, it was like like Sun Times, it was not much different. Um, so I lived one year there, realized I don't like the Bay Area. Mm. In fact, it's only work, sleep, work, sleep, right? That's it. Wow. Um, wow. And then and culture. I, I relocated to, to Santa Cruz, which is over mm -hmm. the hill. Sure. Um, that was nice. Started surfing. Ah. You know, super hard as an Austrian to surf. I was surf. wondering if we were going to hear that <laughs> yeah. at some point. <laughs> yeah, so I started surfing. Not the surfing bug. Good and for then, you. You know, the water's freezing cold there, and, and the weather too, it's like the fog all the time, freezing cold. Yeah. And then one day, we actually went to Fiji to surf, but we stopped two, oh. three days here on the North Shore. And I was like, oh, well, that's nice. Oh. And then... Uh, lo and behold, well, the conference <laughs> might be on the North Shore. The conference, <laughs> yes, which we'll, talk, we'll bait we'll you about that. that. We'll you got to hang around, right. hang on to figure so that's, out. So that's how I ended up. It then took me a little bit to convince Oracle at that time to let me relocate. Mm -hmm. Because I was in the Bay Area, right? Sure. Well, it, there was nothing in. And they were getting twenty hours a day out of you. No, it was easy, right? <laughs> right? And then that's that's basically where the story kind of starts. Um, why I'm doing this conference um, is because it it was very difficult to to get here. Because it's okay if you if you tell you know your manager or your you, you know your hierarchy. Right. You tell them I want to relocate, right? Usually. Companies, yeah, that's not true. Some companies don't have an issue with that. Right. You know, Twitter, Oracle, they let you work. We yeah, have, every, yeah, you work from home. Right. Um, and if you say, I don't know, I want to relocate to, I don't want to, you know, put any states down here, but you said you're from <laughs> yeah, Kentucky. Yeah. So if you say, I want to move to Kentucky, everyone says, yeah, cool. So, <laughs> yeah, good luck. Why? Yeah. They say why. <laughs> right. <laughs> First. Um, but no one has an issue with that, right? You yeah. say, okay, you relocate there or you work from there. Sure. Uh, if you say you want to move to Hawaii, <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes. whole different Guess story. what happens. And, <clears throat> and so... So how difficult was that? Did it take oh, a while? Oh, that's why he's on Twitter. <laughs> did it take him <laughs> no, a while I, to bite off? I, I, so I, I made it work. Oracle let me go, but it took a long time. I bet. Yeah, and then it was, you know, people heard of it, they got jealous, you know, all that stuff. Wow. And, it, and it's just so annoying that just because of the name and, right. and, and 
the activities, let's put it this way, people associate with the place, like Hawaii, oh, vacation. Like sure. all the time. Sure. Yeah, and, and, like and no one here works. Work, right, no one works. And you work 20 hours a day here. I mean, you, people yeah, that come I don't, in, but yeah. Consultants that come in from the mainland that are trying to do biz dev here, and I have clients like that, they go, well, you guys don't stop. You know, it's like, we're starting, we're, we're up at 5, 6 in the morning, yeah. and we don't stop until 9 o'clock at night. That's I mean, right. it's just how it is. Yeah. Right. And they're going, we, well, everybody says it's just it's like R&R. &R. Yeah, yeah, No, it isn't. No, nah, it isn't. So work. when you got here, um, oh, the treasure trove of Java developers and must have been just so... He was probably the only one. <laughs> well, he, but he's, in, he's, remember, he's working on the compiling side, too, right. so even, even more so not, obscure. There's not a lot of dev, dev shops in... In, in Hawaii that are focused in Hawaii that do work in Hawaii. Hawala was the one that only one mm -hmm. I know of. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There. Um, um, Russell, you know Russell. Russell, yes. Yeah, because he does his own dev work here. Right. He's not Wumpum. He does the, the, yeah. the cryptocurrency sure. uh, point of sale system. Yeah, he was on the show. Yeah. So he was on the show. But there's not a lot, right? No, there's not. Um, I hope there are more than I know of. Mm -hmm. So that they come to the conference. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons, right? I, I wanted to do a conference for, for the local people. So, I mean, there are pretty, I mean, that's probably not true, but there are many, many other U.S. states where you have conferences. All, sure. You know. Java conferences oh, and all yeah. the ones. Yeah, the, uh, international. They're all over the, right. all over the globe. Exactly. I mean, but you have to, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, if you live in California and there's a conference in Washington, yeah, you, you hop on a plane and you fly an hour and you're there. But going from here somewhere, it's, it's kind of, you know. It's a, it's a haul. It's a little that bit of a first jump. hop over the pond is right. five hours, <laughs> six hours, you know, every yeah. time. Yeah, well, you're going to be on uh, bite, my, bite Marks later today with yeah. uh, Bert Lum and Ryan Ozawa. Oh, good, okay. And they're, and they're very much, you know, they're, they're very much involved into the, into the side of the industry that you're right. focused on. Yeah. So they understand it very well. They've got a lot of contacts in that space. Mm. Um, so that's good that you're going to be there because you're going to be also promoting this um, right. this conference, which you, which we should get get into. Yes. Um, so what is it? So just give us an overview. We're going to take a break in about three minutes, but just give okay. us an overview um, of what it is. So I wanted to do it. I call it a Chava conference because that's what I know. Right. Mm -hmm. I usually go to Chava conferences. I'm I'm a speaker myself. I go to a lot of conferences and speak about the stuff we do. And but it and it really is um, a conference about the JVM, right? It's not the necessary. Java virtual machine. Right, because you have more than the, the Java, Java, the programming language, there are more languages that run on top of the JVM, mm -hmm. right? You, you have, I don't know, Scala is, is, I think, the most popular example. And then you have other stuff. Mm -hmm. You can run JRuby. Oh, yeah, the Scada system. You, what do you do for Twitter? Do they run stuff on it as well? So the, yes. So Twitter, the reason why, Twitter has its own VM team. Okay. It's not very big, but um, we have a one, to make sure that Twitter runs well. I see. So we have uh, three GC engineers that just take, make sure that all the services, we, have, we run microservices, right? Mm -hmm. they, they are basically all written in Scala. Okay, gotcha. And they make sure there are no GC issues. People usually have GC issues. Nice. And then they-, they By they, GC issue, you mean? Uh, garbage collector. Okay, garbage collector. Yeah. And, and they, they wanted a compiler guy to, to look into that as well. That's mm, why they hired interesting. me. So That's we just awesome. make sure that- um, it's clean and pretty and it, works well for It everyone. runs well, yeah. So my job there is That's awesome. to run Twitter services um, more um, efficiently. Okay. Um, I have a talk about this. It's on YouTube. You can you can look it up. Awesome. Um, we'll, we'll go check it out there. So like when you say more, less CPU power. Less CPU. It's cloud, so you're, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so less CPU, saving a lot of money. Do you, when you compile, is that how you, you can see it from what you compile? Does it kick out errors? Says, oh, these, these routines aren't, what, aren't good or what's the, um, how, do you help, how do you help it? Right, so the, the okay, we're gonna have to. Get, okay, okay. You're are getting, we ready? I, yeah, we're ready. You gotta take a break. Okay, so, break time. I got yelled at from the booth in there. We're going to I yelled at? No, I didn't. Wow. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> anyway, Gordo the Tech Star here. This is really cool, by the way. I like this stuff. Yeah. Andrew the Security Guard, Chris, and uh, Java One, Lava One. Right. Lava One. Lava, Lava One. one. Um, talking about this conference that's coming up next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, yes. Monday, Tuesday. So we'll get into that in a few minutes. We'll be back in a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Hello, 
I'm Helen Dora Hyden, the host of Voice of the Veteran, seen here live every Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. As a fellow veteran and veterans advocate with over 23 years experience serving veterans, active duty, and family members, I hope to educate everyone on benefits and accessibility services by inviting professionals in the field to appear on the show. In addition, I hope to plan on inviting guest veterans to talk about their concerns and possibly offer solutions. As we navigate and work together through issues, we can all benefit. Please join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for the Voice of the Veteran. Aloha. Hey, aloha, everybody, and welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii. This is Abatsi Talk. I'm Andrew, the security guy, and I just wanted to remind you guys about the NIP sector, the National Infrastructure Protection Plan. We had some questions come up this week from some of the sectors, and a lot of the security requirements that you, you need to pay attention to or have been detailed for you by Department of Homeland Security. There's a great website there, so look up NIP sector, N-I-P-P -P sectors. Go in there, find your sector, and find out what things you need to do if you're looking for some stuff to work on this year to improve the security posture of your organization. All right, we got Angus in here from the beach. Angus, what's going on, buddy? How you doing there, lad? Good to see you, Good man. Good to see you. Good to see you there, Chris. So I did the left too hard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> yeah. My father had a wee phrase about Austria since he knew he was from Austria. It's how he remembered his geography when he was going to school. Oh, he said, no. if Austria was hungry and took a little bit of turkey, they could dip it in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> then you got all the countries that are close to each other. That's how he remembered where they nice. were. Nice. Anyway, you know, I tried to be thematic here. So I, I tried to come up with a wee Java joke. All right. I got a wee Java oh, joke. No. You know. So here's the question. Why did Java programmers wear glasses? Why? Oh, I don't know. Because they cannot see sharp. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Only the geeky guys would get this. Oh, Only my God. Only the geeky guys would get this. They so cannot go. see sharp. Oh, oh, oh. So there's there's a, a boo. The Java, no, the Java purist. Yes, 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 boo. Anyway, that's my joke for the day. Thank you. And like I said, every segment, at the end, in every segment, like your wing gang, free, where are you be? Hello? Ha! Ah. The Java guys are pure, man. They cannot see sharp. Yeah. Nice stuff from Angus. Good joke. No, Keeping us on theme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're here with Chris Dalinger. We're going to talk about an upcoming Java event that you should all know about. And Gordo's back. All right. So tell us about so, Lava One. So tell us about you know Lava One right. and what what you uh, what uh, well just tell us about Lava One first. And right. Then, so and the uh, the idea was, as I said, it, it was difficult to come here, right? Um, mm -hmm. And the idea was uh, earlier. Uh, Last year, I had the idea of, of doing a, a conference here. I talked to, he's one of our speakers as well, Charlie Nutter. He's, he's doing JRuby, the okay. JRuby implementation. And so he's going to a lot of conferences. And, and he said there used to be a Ruby, con like he said once, a like Ruby, Ruby conference. Ruby on Rails? N not Ruby on Rails, but he said there was a Ruby conference in, in Waikiki once or okay. in Honolulu. Could be. Uh, it it one guy made it. He he lived here, right? He said, "Oh, I'm doing a Ruby conference," and it only happened once because he moved away, right? So that's that's what happens. And then I thought, you know, we should really do some Java stuff here. Um, and I was, you know, googling, is there anything? Is there a, maybe a Java users group? No, I think there was one at some point, hmm. but there is not. Are they teaching Java currently at, at the, on the campuses here? They are. I hope so. Then, okay. Yeah, they are teaching on a number of the campuses. So the students, there may be a students group that's interested or something like that that don't have a lot of funding to <laughs> have, a, have a presence right. that's findable, right? And so I thought, um, you know, we should do a Java related, you know, conference. Sure. As I said earlier, it's not really Java, but it's, you know, some kind of a conference related to Java, the, you know, the JVM. Right. And, um, and then I thought, okay, you know, I, let's pick a time of the year where people would be willing to come, which is January. Yeah, right? think. Good yeah, choice. Right, yeah, I know. And so, <laughs> it's easy to pull them off the right. mainland out to Hawaii for in So I did that. I created a Twitter account for the conference. It's if you go on twitter.com and it's Lava One Conf, but if you type in Lava One, you'll find it. Okay. Um, and then, you know, it went from there. I, nice. I, I knew some of the speakers already, and so I. I I said, who wants to come and speak? And they were all, yeah, of course, right? Of course. And the company, it's Hawaii. Yeah, the company pays for their travel, so they, they don't care. So I have a really good lineup of speakers. You sure do. Um, some, yeah, some really good speakers. Some of these are big names yeah, in the I, industry, right? I know nothing about Spring, so I, I'm actually excited to hear about that stuff. And then I have Charlie come as well, as I said, J. Ruby guy. Nice. I have uh, some Oracle people come. Um, you know, Sharad's coming. And then Mike Digu, he... I think he's, oh, did he? No, he's still at Liquid Robotics. Oh, wow. Like, you know, where James Gosling used to, right, he's right. now gone, but he, he, he works at that. And they have the, the research laboratory on the Big Island. On uh, Ma it's Maui? Or is it no, on Big, Big Island. Island. Oh, no, like, Anila. 
Is it an inlet? Where's the reset? It's like close to Kona. It's like yeah, it's right outside of Kona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Where they do their robot, whatever. Yep. Nice. So he's coming out. I have two women come out, talk about women and technology and things like that. We've, we, had, we used to go along that theme with this show too, why oh. there's not enough women in this yeah, business. Yeah, so we have that. Um, all of this stuff uh, will be streamed by Steve. He, he has a, a, a Twitter handle called Night Hacking. So okay. all the sessions will be streamed live on Periscope. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. that's terrific. And that's and so, an advanced conference, and especially like so people who can't be in Hawaii right. can watch it. Yeah, right. exactly. It's good stuff. So. Yeah. I, and that's free. And you still got some yeah. seats. That's free, yes. yeah. yeah free that's but they should still come by yeah. ticket. <laughs> yeah, because you can't. It's the it's the uh, the lectures or the the speakers is one thing, but the conversation between yes. the events, yeah, and all the, the schmoozing yeah, yeah. and network events, yeah. is where a ton of the knowledge transfers. Exactly. Yes, that's true. So I tried to you know get people come out, buy a ticket, um, and come out. I I made it as cheap as I could so that people actually come. It's it's a two day conference. Mm -hmm. I have twelve sessions. Awesome. Um, so it's Monday and Tuesday of next week. And where, where is it at? Is that a unique location? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, it's like a location I know. So it's it's the courtyard in La Ia. Yeah, the brand, the new one. So I'll call it the brand new one. Isn't that awesome? They, they um, the Marriott bought that hotel. That that old hotel. Old hotel. They yeah. renovated it. Yeah. And I have not been there since they've renovated it. Yeah. So it's uh, a you, courtyard. And it's a you courtyard by Marriott. Out. I should come out. <laughs> I know. I wish I had thought about this earlier. <laughs> Um, but so, and that's a great location. So it's affordable. It is affordable, right? That that was one reason. Um, at one point, I thought maybe it was a it was a mistake to to make it that far away from Honolulu. Ah, oh, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So. Um, some people signed up, not not too many. Um, one thing I wanted to do, and that's you know why I'm doing this conference is I I. Students that have a valid student ID, right? They can come for free. Well, so there you go. Yeah. They so, don't get food, but they but can, they, come, they for can free. come for free. I right. mean, you should actually try to get the word out to uh, Kahuku um, High School out there. Yeah. Um, to and um, my neighbor, she's a teacher there. Oh, so, so I have to talk to her. Talk again. to her. Yes. <coughs> and to get her to do it, David Stevens. I just sent it to him. Yeah. Have David. He's a uh, professor at KCC. Yeah, and also and so and he know and all the hats kids. So I'll send. I'll get this out mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. There's a there's right. some groups in. I don't know how many of them do coding. Some of them are a lot of them are right. in cyber, but there may be some some, some interest mm -hmm. there. They have peripheral interest, right? Yeah. Everybody's you know. If there's technology going on here, people like right. to know about it. They they right. may not. They may not. They may just come to see, hear what's the, you know the future. Yeah. Because this will be a what's the focus going to be? Exactly. Yeah. Current and right. future. Yeah. You know, where we're headed. I mean, yeah. It's it's all about. David is talking about. Um, I can't pronounce his last name. I'm sorry, but David. He's French, De La Basse. De La Basse. Um, nice. He's talking about this new project FN that Oracle came out with. I don't even know what it is, but it's, it's new stuff, right? Another guy, he's talking about JUnit 5, right? Wow. It's a new JUnit to, to write tests, and it's five. I, don't, I haven't used 5 myself. Wow, so, so this is cutting edge. This yeah. is all in Hawaii. cutting edge in stuff in Hawaii. Mm. Um, Very yeah, good. Um, yeah, department, I think, of DBED. I mean, the governor announced 80,000 new tech jobs paying eighty thousand dollars a year or more by the, the year for the state 20 mm. are they, so or are something they, does like the that. state have its own job no, and stuff that it needs not, to do not that i'm aware of i mean if mm. they because they buy apps they don't develop yeah. per oh, se. So it's not like a development yeah they're not team. really okay. a development team there may be some the cities as may have a few too but again it's not they're not yeah they're just supporting not a lot of development that goes on out here unless you're doing it remotely for somebody right hmm. interesting so but the, again, they're teaching it in the schools, and all these all these um, young adults are coming out of school. And where are they going to go if they if they like what you're doing? Yeah, they it's hard for them to do it here. Right, they're going right, to have right. to go somewhere on the mainland and to do the it there, adults. and then hopefully they'll be able to get relocated back with that company here. Yeah, so, but it sounds interesting that uh, so apparently you need this uh, this Java functionality for a lot of different things. Yes, you know, so there's a lot of use cases for right. it out there. Millions of people are the using whole it world all the runs time on in Java. the browsers, right? So yeah. everything's running in Everything's it. running and on so, Java. Everybody thinks it's all running on Microsoft and um, mm, VMware. Yeah, so if you... And, it, it isn't. All, all your money and all your stocks are running on Java on code. Java. <laughs> Every, everything. Yeah. It's like, as soon as, a, you know, there are a lot of new languages popping up. Sure. You know, whatever, Go, and you name it. And Python, all this machine learning stuff is now written in Python. And, you've, and when new companies, you know, startup companies come up, they write their stuff in the language they like. Like the first engineers okay. they had, oh, I like language A, so we write everything in language A. I see. That's, that's how it usually starts. Right. 
And then at some point when companies get big, they realize, oh, we, we don't scale. Mm -hmm. And then they have to go somewhere else. And usually what happens is they move on the JVM. It doesn't necessarily have to be Java, like in the, in the case of sure. Twitter, it's Scala. But they move on the JVM because the JVM gives you uh, the scalability for free. I see. Right, and awesome? for free, and yeah, that's yeah. the key. Is it's free ninety nine. Right. Yeah, it is. Mm. And so was you, that a, was that a conscious decision? Was that's that a open source decision, or oh, so it was this that was always open sourced. Mm, well, not or always. When it went not open always. source, yeah, it was like okay. two thousand six. That's pretty smart. Seven. I see. Pretty smart. Yeah. So if you build the engine for free, the developers will come and use it. <laughs> so what do you Maybe. what are you hoping the takeaways are for those that show, that that are attending the conference? What, what do you what do you hope they get from from being there? I mean, they're going to hear a lot of state of the art yeah, stuff, right? Like some visionary yeah. work things um, as well. So besides that, to get the newest information, um, what you just said basically is like there are not enough jobs here, and then people graduate and they move to California and whatnot. I met a guy, like a young guy, on the plane once between you know, San Francisco and, and Honolulu. And that, that was his story, right? He graduated, graduated here and then he moved away. Right. Um, this is my small piece of the puzzle to maybe get more IT jobs here, more good paying jobs here, and then you know, local kids can stay here and work here. And, yeah. and so if you, if you, if it, you know, it would be great to have a Java users group so that people come together. And, and so I, I'm, I'm trying to do that too. It's a little difficult, but so the conference should be a sign of, uh, oh, people live and work here. here. And yeah, and, they're, and, they're, and they're, a sign of life. There are some life. there are some new opportunities. I mean, mm -hmm. this you know Java, as you know, has been around for a long time. Right. But this is new. This is new opportunities within that space that no one's jumping on here in Hawaii. I, you really don't see and any. There may be remote this. working opportunities for them as well. You, you and bet. It, I oh, imagine yeah. if you're new to it, you're not. You need a little more supervision, but you can probably still be a part of a team. Oh, absolutely. And contribute code. Oh, absolutely. And, sure. yeah. But if you're doing work in New York City and you're doing work in Japan, you can do it in a single business day from Hawaii. That's one of the keys <laughs> to remember is that. So you can live, work, and play, in Kapolei. Right. Uh, but you can. Uh, but you can do it from from both locations. So. So in, you know, it's so, a twelve-hour work day. Or yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> how long do you want to work? Twelve hours. No. <laughs> Yes, it's 12 hours. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, so, so again, where's the, when, when's the conference, where it is? The conference, yeah, the conference is um, 15th and 16th, Monday, Tuesday, coming Monday, Tuesday. It will be at the courtyard in Laia. Okay, and the website is, oh, yeah, well, that's, I didn't, Lava One. I didn't buy, like, a yeah. domain name, so you have to go to Twitter and type in Lava One, one Conf. And then that'll... And click on and the link. And then there is a link to, to the website that tells you what, yeah, you I've, can buy a ticket or get a student ticket for free. You see. And I found it by Googling just Lava oh, One perfect. Conf. Yeah, yeah that's Google. how so I it's found just, it. It's getting some traction. Yeah, you see traction. the agenda. It, like, yeah, and the event information comes uh, right Sessions up. start at, the conference starts at 8, there's breakfast. The sessions start at 9 and go until 4. Yeah, and sh I, you know, I encourage you. Go if you, out if there if you're get available, your on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if, you've got, if you're available Monday or, and Tuesday or one or the, or the other, uh, go out there and, and, and meet the speakers and find out what's happening in this space. You may get an idea for a future uh, job that you want to do or business you want right. to start here in Hawaii. It's working for Chris. Anyway, Chris, thanks for coming from Austria, by the way. That's awesome. <laughs> um, we give every one of our guests an autographed solo cup. You've got number right. 146 in the series. Cool. All right. Thank so, you so uh, much. You can put all your Java pens in it or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will do that. So, anyway, we want to thank you for, for joining us. and, and um, I'll keep in touch with you. We'll find out how it went. Yes. And, and um, you're going to be on Bite Marks tonight. So yes. those five, of you that are driving in, you can listen to Bite Marks and find out more. You might even be on some of the show this week. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see what's going on. Anyway, pleasure having you here on the show. Thank you all for listening to and watching Hibachi Talk here on Think Tech. And like we say at the end of every show, one, two, three. How, how you, are you doing? doing? Oh, how are you doing? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Good job. Good show. Thank you. <coughs> Thank Very you. Very informative. Wait